morning guys top of the morning well I'm coming out this morning to do some landside fishing you know so first thing is to go on the bait spot but look some bait is that the fishing vibes kinda 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 leave me a little bit you know you know why because it's around this time last year Kevin got sick you know and you know I lost Kevin the same time last year so I kinda I kinda think back on it I kinda miss him and I just you know the fishing vibe just kind of leave me a little you know but I just I just decided to come out this morning you know because I have to hold strong again and continue so you know some people might say boys are here you know and they should get over that time but I can't you know it is not so easy to get over these things you know especially when you have when you have um, memories together you know like you know whenever I watch the videos and stuff like that it's like Kevin is still here with me and it's like you know it's like just keep, I just keep reminding me about Kevin it's not that I can't I don't want to watch your videos because I have a YouTube channel and, I, and, and sometimes I go through the channel and when I go through the channel I see him on the channel you understand me and I don't really want to shut it out shut him off like that when I say shut him off I mean like don't watch the videos because I make the videos to watch you know and each time I go back and I watch it just to see how we used to catch fish and stuff you know so hopefully I can catch something before the time to leave to come back home alright so I'm gonna get some live bait now at the bait spot then I move on to somewhere alright so we soon come back Alright guys, so I'm at the bait spot now, right? Right at the jet here, so I'm gonna try and get some bait now and then move on out of here, right? I don't know if any bait is here, but let us try and see. So, catch on the jetty. Yes! First of all, let me get some water. So that is it, you get the water, so heading up now to the jetty. <laughs> Nobody's here today, you know, like everybody stopped fishing on the jetty here, so you're <laughs> not, not going on the jetty. So I carry a rod still, but when I intend to stay, I'm just trying to get some bait. Some birds diving, so maybe. Bait is here. Bait is here, that's good. No bait is here. No problem. Oh, see some bait. Uh. See some bait there. In the water. See them? Some toffee. Some small toffee. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see now. So now I'll leave my pump right here so you know. Oh boy, I tell you guys I came out here a good little while now and I used, the, used my pump on, on, on my bait bucket here so. and I take off the pump now and I put the pump right down on the pallet right here so. alright, put the pump on the pallet and get up and leave the pump same place on the pallet right here and weeks after me I look for the pump and can't find the pump Realize I'm leave the pump right from the pallet out here. So, so you know it's gone already. Gone from them time there. So I was to take out Kevin pump. Kevin had a pump, a brand new pump and by about a week before him passed away. And that's the pump I'm gonna to use today. The first time to using that pump, I'm using that pump. He only used that pump one time. And then, you know, 
and then him leave it and then I, I take the pump now and I, I just put it into old second hand battery because I never even know say I never have any pump. So I put them in this morning and say boy. This is it I'm going to use so it's Kevin pump I'm using this morning. Brand new quiet bubble pump. So I lose my pump. Anyway, just get busy now, catch some bait. So set up my sabiki. Oh it's a bait out here so set up the sabiki right now and see if we beat them if I can catch any at all. Maybe I can't even catch one. But anyhow, I try still, you know. That's what fishing is all about. Not about catching all the while. <laughs> ah alright, keep them dirty up the jetty. Them now here to keep the jetty clean enough. But at the same time, block off the jet here. Sorry for them. Setting up the sabiki right here, so. So leave here very early, so I'll see if I can get anything and see if I can catch a favor one fish. You know? Alright, somebody coming up here now. So it was me first, somebody second. Alright, come. Let us see if any bait is here. Last bit. This is the last bit now. Yeah. All right. I'm out of here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out of here now. Pack up my sabiki now. The right way. Pins up the right way. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I got enough bait now, and I did not out of here. Heading to Port Royal. I don't have much time, you know, as I say, you know. So. Seven because it's eight, nine, ten. Where are the cups? Seven to eight. Where are the time? Got time gone. I'm not a bit. I'm not catching up with Raya. By the time we reach Port Raya, the day done. All right, so I have a good amount of bait in my book here, now, guys. Good amount of bait. So normally what you do is just change the water, because you know. Just change about 70% or 90% of the water. Yeah, that's about 90% of the water I'll change. Put back in some fresh water. <coughs> that's about it. So what we do, we just change the water, put in about 90% of clean water in it and then the fish is good to go. So I'm out of here now guys. Alright guys, so I'm on my way to Port Royal now and I'm on Port Royal Road heading around but guess what now? What I see that the breeze coming up and it's getting windy. When it is windy still Port Royal is never normally bad 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 unless the breeze is coming up strong. Coming up strong now still in about 20, 20, 20, 20, 18 to or 19 to 20 miles an hour. Um yeah that is that is that is strong still you know. But I'm going back going around here still because I'm on my way and not turning back because you know. Today is the only day I, I, I get to fish and I have to go around there and see what he, I, I, if he's even to go around there 
and see the water, if the water is rough, I turn back and go home or go back on the jetty. But I have to go and check it out, you know, to see if I can do any fishing around there. So basically, that's what I'm doing today, you know. So guys, when I reach on by, when I reach on in Port Royal, I'll get back to you guys, alright? So stay tuned. And hopefully we can catch up today, alright? So, catch you. Alright. All right, so I'm just up the sand spike. I don't have much time, as I say. So, right here, so. Put it right there, so. I'm gonna take a little first run. I'm going to set up the first live bait so, This is a bang Alright, so Let's see what I can catch with this now <laughs> Didn't go too far That is number one. So this is the other sand spike I'm setting up right here. This is the other sand spike I'm setting up right here. I'm going to put it about out here, so from that rod, I'm throw it that side. Put it about right here. <laughs> Alright. So this one I've on a big tough lift, that one I've on a bang. So see which one guy. I'm going to connect first <coughs> So I have two rods out now guys Alright, so both rods are out now guys, see them there? This one, 15 pound trialing, the other one, 50 pound braid Two of our live bait, one bang, one toughy. So, the weight is on alright So guys, as soon as I hook up, I get back to you guys, alright So, soon come back Well, I tell you, this glass is at half on here, not, not This glass is here not working out for me, you know, it's not polarizing on It's kind of a, why it just, it's just not working out for me So, I'm going to have to change the glasses right now Put on the other one. I have the other one in my bag. Yeah, man. I have to go, I have to go change these glasses, man. Not working out for me at all, at all, at all. I can't look in the sun glare, and these glasses is not polarized. So it just ah, boy, I tell you. But I have the polarized one in the bag, so I'm gonna take it out. So look, I just see if I can get it out of the bag. So it's, I don't even know. It's in the case still. Down right here, so I ah, see it here. All right, I got. Alright. Yeah, fish on! <laughs> Hope it's a good fish, you know. Oh, come on, man.
fish on, brother. Come. Let me see what kind of fish is this. Come, come, come. Yes. Yes. Jack. I wonder if it's a jack. Feel like a jack. It's a jack. Jack. Ah. Alright guys, so I catch a jack. Alright? See my people. Nice jack. See me. Jack Creval. Nice one. Alright? So I'll put him on the ice box. Oops. So that's one down, alright? Alright, so the weed is a problem, you know, guys. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay out here because normally when I, when I fish braid in this kind of weed, the weed pull up the line and not up the line, you know? Yeah, the line and it's braid, so you know, braid can't pull out back, so you know, so there's a lot of trouble, a lot of problems. But, um, it looks like the fish are going to bite later on, you know, it looks so, you know. But it's just that the weed, you know, the weed is the problem. But I'm going to still hang on a little, you know, and see if I can fight through the weed. Because it looks like the fish them will bite. So, I'm going to hang on a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm planning to pack up and leave this place now, you know. Yeah man. A lot of grass in the water and I can't get the fish properly, you know. So, you know, the braid, I'm using braided line and I tell you, the weed, the grass, the, the braid come like a magnet, man. It draws the grass onto the line. So, every minute the line wash come in and not up and out and stuff. So I'm afraid the breeze blowing too hard now, not strong. The breeze getting get up too strong now. So I'm gonna leave this place shortly and you know, I'm gonna pack up now. But nonetheless, you know, it was just a bad day because I caught a one jack. You know? What a two pound or two and a half pound. It's not just a bad jack. Eating size, see it here. See there. Uh, I'll we'll take it out, see me here. Alright, see him there, and fill up the whole bottom of the igloo. Alright? So it's just a one jack of car. So you can even either cook dinner or something, you know. I wanted to catch a snapper but I never get any snapper at all this man. I came out very late out here. Snapper is an early fish, you know. Alright, so look at look at the weed, see? The grass on top of the rod, see there? And the whole lot of grass in the water there. So, so basically <laughs> I'm not gonna catch anything more. So I'm gonna pack up and leave this place now, alright guys? So Let's get out of here, alright? Time to go home. Gosh! Oh boy, I can't leave until I pull this out. You know. I have to pull this out today. Alright guys, so I'm, I just leave Port Royal a while ago. You know. yeah. But I tell you, breeze come up strong man and a whole heap of grass in the water, weed. And man, I tell you, pull me pulling my line, not up a, not up a line, you know man, I tell you. But the weed not up my line, man. I, I, you see, whenever I go around here, I see weed again, and the breeze blowing. I'm not going. I'm not going to do any fishing at all, at all, because it's the second time now I go around there and breeze blowing, and I put out my line, and, and it not up. First was my braided line, and the braided line come like magnet, you know, man. It just pulling everything to it. And then again, now I use the plastic line, the, the, the monofilament line, now, which is a 15 pound trilene, and I think that it'll work out a little better. A while ago. The weed not up the line, I tell you, say, man, man. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to cut it off, you know, I'm going to carry it and pull it out, you know, because it's mono and it can't pull out. Right now, after, after just what really it up on a piece of the whole slippers, like, just to get, just to, just to be able to, to bring it home. You understand? Alright, so, I'm heading home now, guys. Alright, I'm on Port Royal Road, so, it wasn't a bad day today. 
I went out there with some bait, went to the jetty, get some bait, come back, come to Port Royal, hoping to catch more than one fish, but <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, you don't catch anything, sometimes you catch one fish. You know, but it's better than nothing still, I'm still going over the fish, you know, about, it's about a two pound job, as, I, as you see, you know. So, I didn't fare off too bad today because a lot of people come out there and I don't know what to catch. I know I didn't go, I'm not going home, I'm not going home empty handed, alright? So guys, as always, you know, thanks for watching, alright? And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video, alright? Always remember to press that notification bell, alright? Until next time, take care, God bless, fish on.